Well, here's a live look right now over South Haven, and you can see the waves crashing along the pierhead, and that's what we had seen pretty much since midnight last night when this cold front finally swept through West Michigan, and the waves continuing to crash all day long. We've seen gusts upwards of 45, 55, even near 60 miles per hour in some areas as well. Right now over Grand Rapids, winds have lightened a little bit. The camera isn't shaking a ton, so that's some good news, but it is dry, and that sun is peeking through as well. It's turning into a nice evening here, although it is still breezy. We're seeing those winds sustained anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. We're starting to see the relief along the lakeshore near Muskegon, uh, but inland those winds still gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour, and that'll be the case uh, going into tomorrow as well. Tonight the winds will lighten a little bit. You can see we'll get down to about a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind overnight, and then going into daybreak tomorrow, they pick right back up out of the west as this slow moving low pressure system up and just north of Lake Superior continues to move across our area and driving in a lot more of that cooler air and a lot more of those stronger winds. So here is that system. You can see it's just northwest of Lake Superior, wrapping all the way around to the north and east, a strong occluded front. So that means the system is continuing to weaken, but with it has a lot of lower moisture over the Great Lakes region. We're seeing a few light sprinkles if you're north near Big Rapids and out towards Mount Pleasant and Alma as well. A little bit more along the lakeshore, but these are struggling to hit the ground as they move inland. Thankfully, it is a fairly light rain and we'll continue to see this the next couple of hours, but it won't be significant. Significant. Our future track struggles to even pick up this moisture simply because it is so light, but it is picking up the clouds and the winds, and that's what we'll be dealing with the most going into tomorrow and tonight will be mostly clear. And then overnight into early tomorrow morning, you can see our next line of precipitation lines up really south of I-94 early tomorrow. And then it'll start to move a little more northward as we go throughout the afternoon. We could see a little bit of wet snow mix in as temperatures tonight will get down into the mid 30s, but I think most of it will just be rain. And here you can see it does move a little more north, but I think the best chance of any snow or rain uh, will be south of I-96. But again, it will be very light uh, if it does accumulate uh, going into tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. As for our lows tonight, I mentioned we'll get down into the 30s for most of us, 37 here in Grand Rapids, the upper 30s along the lakeshore, as well as down near Kalamazoo. If you're north of Grand Rapids, you're going to be seeing those temperatures, uh, if not at or below freezing. So uh, the cooler air starting to settle in as we have that cold front sweep through, and that'll bring us cooler temperatures even tomorrow. We had the 50s today. Uh, tomorrow going to struggle to get out of the upper 40s. We'll see the stray shower mainly south of I-96, but it will be breezy once again, as I mentioned, gusts upwards of 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour out of the west, sustained at 10 to 15 to 25. As for the rain totals, we're not going to be seeing a ton. It looks to be fairly light, and most of it looks to be south of I-94 as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Grand Rapids and up towards Barrie and Allegan County were to see a sprinkle or two, but it looks to be fairly light as we go throughout your Friday. And then we're going to be dry for this weekend as well. Temperatures, though, much cooler, only 40 degrees for your Saturday. Easter Sunday looks pretty nice, mostly sunny skies near 50. More rain chances and even a few snow chances Monday and Tuesday going into Wednesday. But as we go to the end of the seven-day forecast, back seeing the 50s on that forecast and we're looking at a decent trend in the right direction from the Climate Prediction Center seeing warmer than average potential after the seven day forecast. Our average by the end of the seven days is 60 degrees so we have pretty high standards as we get in to the end of April. So this seven day forecast pretty chilly for what we're normally seeing in mid-April. Hopefully we get